you know, sometimes like I try and hold the camera out like how I am right now. I'm like, how do people even do this? Like th I've been holding this for like 30 seconds and my hand is already tired. But um, yeah, so anyway, today, this video, we're gonna be dealing with all of this. All of this and all of this has to be taped up to go out for donation. So that's what you're gonna be watching today. Anyway, first we have one thing to do. We have to make some tea. So you know how like most like most people that make videos like you know they grab their coffee and like they put it down on the table. I can't do that because I just literally made the tea and it's like steaming hot right now. So I want to take the time that it's cooling down or I want to take the time that it takes to cool down to tape up some boxes. But I guess I should give this video some context. So basically I said it in my minimalist challenge um, video. Um, I think it was like two or three videos back. You can watch it somewhere up here. And basically what happened was you give away one thing on day one, two things on day two, three things on day three. You, you can do some basic math. And um, yeah, basically it was from these guys named, named The Minimalists. They have a Netflix documentary. I've been through this already. They spent their 20s climbing the corporate ladder. Then they decided to quit their job and become minimalists and sell all their stuff. And you know, you, you basically know the story right now. But basically I wanted to talk about some things that I realized when doing this challenge for the past 28 days. The thing that I realized is that I had things that I was hanging on to for no reason. Um, these two pencils, like, I mean, okay, it seems insignificant, right? But that was like, that was when the King Tut, the whole King Tut exhibit um, came to the museum here. And me and my mom went, this was in like, what year was that? That was like grade eight or something like that. Probably 2007, 2008, around that time, maybe 2009, um, you know, somewhere around there. But, you know, I've had these sitting in the closet for all these years because I thought I was gonna use them. Maybe I had an emotional connection to them, but I was looking at them one day, I said, you know what, they're not doing me any good, so let me just give them away. So that that's basically what my point is, is I had things that I thought I was gonna use, but in reality, I wasn't gonna use them. So this is like, this. so I went through everything one time, right? And then I kind of kept some stuff. And then this is the second go around um, through everything again. I wish that I like, you know, had video of when we gave away everything previously. We had like, I don't know, 15 or 16 boxes. Not like huge boxes, but you know, like an average size box. Um, and that was like clothes, you know, just a whole bunch of stuff um, that we were giving away. And like, like I said, I wish we had like video of it so I could kind of give this video context, but I mean, it is what it is. Uh, this is also for the record. So maybe I can look back on this when I do the third go around and I can add this in, into the next video. But um, yeah, you know, like I said, I was just keeping stuff that I wasn't gonna use or maybe I had an emotional connection to it. Um, but now, you know, everything is basically getting given away. I still have to do the math, like 28 plus 27 plus 26, and then like, we'll see how many things I give away. It's definitely gonna be more than that because it's probably gonna be closer to like 500 things maybe. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's 500 things going to other people that I'm not gonna be using and otherwise would have just been taking up space, you know, in my house. So let's table a few boxes, I guess. We gave away so many things. I mean, there's clothes in there. There's pictures in here. There's VHS tapes in there. Uh, more clothes, sheets, keychains, towels. I mean, bowls. You know, we basically went through like everything in the house. All these bowls down here. Um, and then I don't even know what's in here anymore. I don't even remember what's in these boxes. Um, more, more dishes you know, teddy bears, Christmas decorations. There's a blanket in there. Um, I think there's like, I don't know what's in here, sheets, blankets, I don't know, there's that blanket. I mean, we gave away so many things. We basically went through the whole, 
Like we ba we basically went through the whole the whole kitchen, the closets, the washroom, you know, everywhere. Like this is now all the dishes that I have left. Like this used to be full. Now it's just a couple plates. Obviously I live alone. Our cups, you know, we used to have way more cups, way more, you know, dishes. There's a whole bunch of stuff in this kitchen that we just got rid of because like I said, we weren't using it. it didn't make sense. I've been talking too much now. Let me tape up some boxes. As you can see, I have lots of help here. Lots of help. One thing, I'm gonna take you off the tripod for a sec. One thing I was thinking about, let me get myself situated here. One thing I was thinking about is that, you know, sometimes we have like an emotional connection to things, obviously, right? Like for example, those pencils I was talking about. I'm not saying I'm, I have an emotional connection to the pencil, but you know, to the thing behind it, right? Cause we went to see the King Tut thing, you know, I went, I went with my mom in grade eight, whatever year it was. Um, but I remember when we went around the first time um, and I didn't want to throw them out or I didn't want to give them away, right? Because I felt like like I was, I was attached to them, right? Um, and then now the, the second time, it's, it, it got easier, if that makes sense. So I think if you're, if you're connected to something um, and you go around the second time and you haven't used it, or if you feel bad about keeping something, like it's not bad to keep it, but when you go around again, try and like, you know, try and give it away that time. But don't be, like I know a lot of people think that it's just like, oh, okay, I'm gonna throw away like everything I'm not using. And like, I was, I was the same way. But the reality is that when you do it, like it's a process. You can't just throw away everything like at one time. Like I can't go and say, okay, I'm throwing away my curtains or I'm throwing away, you know, some, I don't have anything near me, but like, you know, I can say, I can't say, oh yeah, I'm throwing away something because like maybe I need the curtains for now. Maybe I'm attached to the curtains. Maybe I have an emotional connection to the curtains. Maybe I made the curtains, right? So it's like, if you have a connection to something, you don't have to, you know, just give everything away like right then. It's one, one thing to remember is that it's a process and it takes time. For me, this is two years of, of work, like when it comes to giving stuff away and stuff like that. So yeah, I mean, you look at the weather right now. Like it actually looks like, okay, it doesn't look like really good, but. So you see that little patch of grass right there. So I look out every day and obviously like, it's about to be March, right? So it's, the snow is, you know, finish. Oh, let me flip my screen. I'm not very good at this. Oh my God, now it's underexposed. I'm not very good at this vlogging thing, as you could probably tell. I think I'm better just sticking to the videos that I make normally. But then how do you grow if you don't make different videos? Anyway, um, I look out to that little patch of grass every day and I'm just waiting, just waiting for the warm weather to come because we can go outside, we can ride bikes, we can play games, we can, you know, not necessarily do like go back to regular life, but I mean, it's better than staying inside, you know, watching movies all day, I guess. But um, yeah, anyway, back to the taping and putting stuff away, I guess you could say. And there we go. Let me take you off the tripod. Look at this. So everything is all snugly packed in. And now, I'm gonna grab this, like this, and everything is gonna get folded over in the box. And there we go. It's not too heavy. The blanket's getting given away too. And yeah, 
that won't cause any breaking. It's only gonna break if somebody drops the box. Really and truly, but uh, yeah, so here we go, let's continue. Oh, actually, that reminds me. That reminds me. One thing that I, um, one thing that I actually suggest you do is, uh, so this, this cat teddy bear, hold on. Let me show you. So this cat teddy bear, this dog, hold on. Let me show you. You have to bear with me, I'm an amateur. Anyway, so this cat teddy bear right here, right, that one was my mom's, this one was mine, and then this one was one that my dad gave to me. Um, these are all three that I had, like I said, that I was, I wanted to give away, but I jumped the gun and I came back to them on the second round. Um, but when you do get to the things that you wanna give away and you know, you don't want to lose the, you want something to look back on. I took a picture of them actually all together, or my girl did actually. Um, and I'm going to put the picture on screen somewhere, probably on this side, you know, shoot for the edit. Um, and yeah, so then, you know, when you take a picture on your phone, obviously you don't have to keep the actual thing that you're trying to, you know, remember because you have the picture of it. So that's one thing that I, I read that you should do. Um, so yeah, if, if you're if you're gonna give away something that you still have a little bit of an emotional connection to um, And if you are giving it away if you can You know Bear the burden I guess you could say to give it away um, Just take a picture of it because then you store it on your phone you store it on a hard drive You store it wherever and then you know you have it forever basically so uh, yeah I guess I should drink my tea does anyone know how long you have to steep tea for because I actually have no idea Let's see it's getting kind of cold. I guess I should drink it. Yeah, I'll drink it now. I actually just started drinking green tea. And to be honest, it doesn't it taste like nothing. Um, like I don't put any sugar or any cream or anything like that. I just drink it black. Um, but it doesn't taste nasty. It just tastes like nothing. Um, but it's healthy for you, so. I guess I have to drink it. One thing I try to do is if you have to drink something like nasty, <clears throat> like green tea or, you know, something you don't like to drink, <laughs> just drink it quick. Because if you sip it and you prolong it, it's not gonna, you know, do you any good. It's just like taking the Band-Aid off slow and like you're peeling it. You might as well just take the Band-Aid off quick and just rip it off. There we go. Not bad. You suffer for one minute to have better, I think it's gut health, I wanna say. I actually don't know. I just read that green tea is good for you. Um, so yeah, I guess we should get back to this whole organizing the corner thing. But yeah, remember that. If you're trying to, or if you're about to give something away um, and you don't necessarily want to, but you kind of want to, and you still want the memory of it, just take a picture of it, you'll be fine. Chester is about to go eat. Okay, let's wait and see. Let's zoom in on him. Yep. Chester. Chess. Chess. Oh. Yes. If you ever wondered what it's like to have a cat, all they do is ignore you. So, yeah, there you go. They ignore you, they eat, they drink water, they go to bed. And uh, yeah, that's it. Anyway, back to the corner.
I think we're good. There we go. Oh, look. Okay, so that's everything is done. So we have how many boxes? That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen boxes, three garbage bags, and yeah. So there we go, that's everything. All right, so I guess we could do it like this. Yeah, that's, that looks fine to me. So basically what I wanted to do now is I kind of wanted to talk about, you know, what I learned. And what I learned is that I had way too many things. Um, even things that I, like I went around the first time, around the house to give stuff away. And then even after going the second time, I realized that when I went around the first time, I had way too many things. So one thing that, and I plan on doing it again, um, three, maybe even four times, um, because, because I feel like I miss stuff and you're gonna miss things. One thing that I've, like I said before, I realized is that it's a process. It's not gonna take you one day. It's not gonna take you one week. It's not even gonna take you one year. It took me two years to go around two times. So, you know, the only thing that you can do is you can try and get everything, like try and get as many things as you can. And one thing that I've talked about in a previous video is, you know, make sure that the place that you're giving your things to, make sure that it's like a, a credible place, make sure it's a decent place, um, make sure they're actually giving things to people. And like I said, a CEO isn't buying another yacht or another helicopter. So if there's like, you know, two things, three things that you're gonna take away from this video, just let it be that it's a process. It's gonna take you a lot of time. Take pictures of things that you're, you still have a little bit of an emotional connection to. And three, you don't have to get everything on the first try. This is just my journey um, that I'm documenting. Probably gonna document the third one. And I'll, you know, we, I, I can look back on this video and see, oh, you know, we had this much stuff last time, you know. Now let's see how many things we can get rid of this time. It shouldn't be a thing that you're like you're mad about or that you know you're sad about. It should be you should be happy because you're helping yourself out by having less things, and you're also helping other people out by giving them things that they possibly need. Like there could be a family that comes to Canada, you know, within the next week, and maybe they get the plates my mom had that I wasn't going to use, but now they don't have to go out and buy plates at the store. So they can save their money, they can have, you know, if it's their kid's birthday, they can buy them a chocolate cake, they can buy them whatever kind of cake. So, you know, that's, just have fun with it and just know that you're helping other people, um, you know, kind of get off the ground and you're helping other people that would otherwise have to spend money on the thing that you just have sitting around. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, I want to thank everybody for watching. Um, I'm glad that everything is organized now, to be honest. I'm glad the month is over because I didn't like having that whole corner messed up and everything was open and everything was everywhere. I'm very particular about how I keep you know, all my stuff. I like it to be closed, neat, nice, and stuff like that. So but I knew that I had to make this video. So that was why it was open. So I'm, very, I'm actually very glad that the month is over and now that now it's all closed and in the corner just waiting to be picked up. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So. Let me know if you participated in the Minimalist Lesson Now Challenge. If you haven't seen the documentary on Netflix, they have two of them on Netflix. Highly recommend watching it. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope everybody enjoys their day, night, evening, whatever you're watching this. Um, it's raining outside, my favorite weather. Um, and yeah, hopefully it gets warm soon. We can go on walks. We can get some more scenic shots. We can add some more variety to the B-roll. I'm talking too much. I'm gonna end the video now. Later. <laughs>